In celebration of National Coffee Day, I want to introduce you and say good morning to the founder of Motorcycle Monkey Coffee. This is Clint August. You may know him. You may know his name. You may know his voice because he's on the radio. Uh, KGB Radio. Good morning, Clint. How are you? Thanks You're for having me. Motorcycle enthusiast as well. We yes. just had you on with Dave Stahl yeah. last week talking motorcycles, but here you are talking coffee. Tell me about Motorcycle Monkey and how this grew for you, how you created this. So, uh, since my boys were babies, I called them monkeys because they climbed on everything. I love motorcycles. Combine the two names together for Motorcycle Monkey. And I've been going into a coffee shop called Coffee Corner in Santee with Dwayne Parks and his family for, I think, 10 years now. A couple years ago, yeah. I went in there and I was like, man, I'd love to have my own coffee. Just talking. Yeah. And he says, you know, I'm getting my own roaster in about three weeks. Why don't you create a brand and let's, let's get it done here. We'll roast here. We can order for you. We can create your brand. And hence, that was Motorcycle Monkey. And yeah. uh, I just love it. I yeah. Love it. You know, that's fantastic. I mean, it's brilliant. And it didn't really take... Uh, it, I guess it wasn't difficult for you to come up with a name because no. <laughs> Motorcycle and... Uh, you're a monkey, your kids are monkey, That's you right. know, a term of endearment. <laughs> it uh, is, it but is. But see, here's what's, what stands out to me is that you have different types of coffees, yeah. right, that you've created. For example, this poster right here, you got, I, this is the first thing I noticed. What in the world is this, Clint? Okay, well, this is a creation that we came up with about a year ago, and we figured with Halloween coming up, why not just show it to you? This is our highest caffeine coffee. It's zombie monkey coffee, and mm -hmm. our slogan is enough caffeine to wake the dead. Oh boy! So That's and some it's strong very good. Stuff. It is strong. It is very strong. Okay, and yeah. and so and you obviously have different brands here. Yeah, you know, when you started on this venture just a couple of years ago to create your own coffee brand. Uh, was it difficult? I mean, because we're talking about, you're a business owner now. I mean, this is It's weird just your, to think that, because right? I don't look at it like that, but it's true. You know, it's a passion that's turned into a business, and I will tell you, it was very easy, and because of Dwayne and his family, and yeah. the fact that he just knows so much about coffee, I've learned a lot from him and his son Micah, and it just was, each time we'd have a, a successful flavor, I'd go, I want to have another thing. I want another flavor. So yeah. then it'd be like, what do you think of this? And Dwayne and I would put our heads together. And it's just, it's creativity. The coffee's amazing. It's the best yeah. coffee I've had. And I, believe me, I said that before I had this coffee yeah. company. And it's just, it's just a fun thing, a way to share your passion and make a little money at the same time. You know, and then at the same time for, uh, for coffee consumers, right? If you're going to go out and buy coffee, when you're going to any local coffee shop that doesn't have to be you know motorcycle monkeys or a or it can be but you're given you're you're helping the local economy right i mean from yeah. a local business standpoint it is it does support the community and and at coffee corner i do want to point this out that the medium roast that we have mojo i have some samples that i'm going to leave with you guys for your machine in the kitchen i did oh. some recon yes that uh is is direct from the grower in thailand and it helps the villagers with clean water projects with uh, school supplies. In fact, two of the young boys, well, they're not young anymore, they're in their 20s, but they've gone to Thailand several years in a row and they actually helped plant some of these plants that the coffee's coming from. It's wow. just, it's such a tied in knit community. Sure. And I just, I love it. So, That's so awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank My you. goodness. We brought some for you, by the way. Well, thank you. I cannot wait to indulge in another <laughs> cup of coffee. So you went from four flavors to now a total of? It's like 12. A 12. Yeah. Wow. You've got okay. Knuckle Dragger, you've got Zombie, you've got Battle Monkey, which is our homage to the military. Those are all high caffeine. You have Mojo, which is the medium roast. Yeah. You've got Vanilla Monkey Nuts right here, which is my favorite flavor. It's very subtle. Hints of vanilla. And then Drunk Monkey. That's just a funny name because there's notes of caramel, whiskey, and vanilla. But, but think about where coffees come these days, too, with, yeah. with really any shop in the community around the world. I mean, they come from all over. Sure. And now there's so many different beans and the way they roast and the flavors and the caffeine content. It's, it's come that's a long way. That's pretty cool. Geez, I, I, can I put you on the spot? Yeah. Between coffee, motorcycles, and radio, what, oh. what's, what do you like the most? Okay, it's it's a it's a it's a three-way tie. I can't. Radio is my baby. Radio yeah. is where I started. Sure. But you know, motorcycles are my leisure time, and I love riding. And and but the coffee creates conversation. How is that for not an answer? You know what? The coffee there creates you go. conversation, right? You this always talk around coffee. This may turn into something for something more. I mean, now you go on Netflix, and there's all sorts of little coffee shows and coffee segments and stuff. So well, con much congratulations to Thank your you. business on, on this business venture. And um, can't wait to taste the coffee. Go out and enjoy. It's National Coffee Day. Uh, Clint August. Lastly, in case people can't make it out to Santee, where can they find the coffee? Uh, you your can go coffee. to MotorcycleMonkey.com. Just click on the coffee tab. It's all right there for you. And uh, yeah, but it's around several shops. Coffee yeah. Corner's where it comes from. Hill Tribes yeah. Roasters. That's the nucleus. Okay. You just go online. Cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Happy Sunday. We'll be right back with much more here on Good Morning San Diego. Cheers.
places that I dream.